All right, so I'm just gonna start and you hop in and out of the practice as you see fit. I like to sit on a cushion, I'm getting old and it's supported for my hips. So find a way to sit that feels nice and comfortable for you. If you wanna lean against the wall somewhere, if it's more supportive for your back, then I encourage you to do that. And just be here. Breathing in and out through your nostrils. Being present, bringing your awareness to this moment. Feeling the connection between the ground and your body, the parts of your body touching the ground. Feel into that connection. Feeling into the stillness that lies beneath your sitting bones. Feeling the support that's already here for you. Gravity holding you still and steady. Keep following the breath in and out through the nose. Make that your focus for the next 40 minutes and you'll do great. Slowly, as you are focused on your breath, try to locate the breath in the body. Where do you feel it most? Belly, rib cage, or chest? Notice where you feel your breath the most. In yoga, it's often preferred to practice a three-part breath. I don't want to get too much into it, but a three-part breath starts inhalation in the belly. Slowly, the breath moves up into the rib cage as they expand out to the side, and finally into the upper chest cavity as the heart lifts up a little. On the exhalation, the chest falls back down, the rib cage squeezes back in, and we slowly pull the belly button all the way in, releasing the stale breath that lingers at the bottom of the belly. <coughs> So just take a few moments here to locate your breath and see if you can connect to that three-part breath. If not, just stay with the breath, feeling it move in the body and out. And now from here, I'm going to ask you to come onto your hands and knees. Now some of us might need to bring a blanket and layer it up under our knees. If you don't have a blanket right now and you don't want to do that, you can just double up your mat. So your knees are on a few extra layers of your yoga mat. Make sure that your hands are just underneath the shoulder sockets and that the knees are just underneath the hips. So there's distance between the knees and the hands. Find your breath here since we've just changed positions. Breathing only through the nose. Extending the top of your head away from the base of the spine, feeling the back of the neck open as you do so. Still breathing in and out through the nose. Inhale, feel your belly stretching down towards the ground and lift your gaze up, rounding those shoulders back, making a happy face with your side body. Exhale, start Tipping the tailbone down to the floor as you stretch your back body up to the ceiling and let your head stretch down, pressing the chin into the chest. Inhale, fill up the belly and stretch it slowly down to the ground, turning your gaze up, looking straight ahead, shoulders back. Exhale, tipping the tailbone down and start that journey of stretching your back body up to the ceiling, letting your head fall down, pressing your chin into your chest. 
Inhale, happy face with the side body. And exhale, cat stretch, reaching the back body up to the ceiling, let your head fall down. Whatever, stretching the floor, stretching down. Breathe in, two more. And out. One more, in. And out. Breathe in, come back to a neutral spine. Breathe out, stretch your right heel back and feel that. How you're now on three points, contact with the floor instead of four. And check your right hip, make sure it didn't open up. We don't want that, we wanna keep our hips squared, parallel to the floor, breathing in and out through the nose. There's a lot happening here. You're pushing into the heels of the hands, stretching out of the shoulders. The ball of your right heel and the right foot is reaching back and the front of that right hip is parallel to the floor. If you have it in you, if not, you can stay here. You can reach the opposite hand forward. So that's the left hand with the palm of the hand facing the body. Reaching away with the left fingers and the right toes. Feel that stretch across the body. Still breathing through the nose. And bring it all back down. Find your breath, move your hips around. Don't be stiff. So if you feel like you just naturally need to sway your hips from side to side, please respect what your body is telling you to do. Come back to this neutral spine in this tabletop pose. And when you're ready, reach the left heel back and the ball of the left foot. Feel that first before we do anything. Whatever is touching the ground is reaching down and you're focused on your breathing, coming in and out through the nose. Make sure that that left hip didn't open up. Keep the front of that left hip parallel to the floor, squared off with the right hip. Find that breath. Inhale, belly fills. Move the breath up into your chest through the rib cage. And exhale, follow the breath out. When you're ready, reach now the right hand forward with the palm of the hand facing the body. And start feeling into that lateral stretch across the body. Breathe, reaching through the right fingers and away with the left heel. Find, fight for it. And when you're ready, you can bring it all back down to the ground. Stretching your hips all the way back now. Some of you will not be able to touch the heels. That's okay, you might be up here. That's all right. But the goal is to reach those hips back as far as you can. Maybe the, the, the bottom of the, your butt touches your heels. Reach your hands forward and let your head rest down where the hairline meets the forehead is what is touching the floor and you'll you are still focused on your breath you're breathing long breaths in and out In and out. Good, breathe in, come back to tabletop. I'm gonna release my mat now because uh, maybe I'll keep it actually. 
Still in tabletop, I want you to bring that right foot between your hands. So you might need to help yourself a little, and that's okay, but try to bring that right foot between the hands closer to the right. Good. And curl the left toes in and reach that left heel back. So we're, we're gonna be on just our feet but take your time to get there. Make sure the right knee is just on top of that right heel. And then lift the left heel off the ground. You can still use your hands to support you. Engage your core. And bring your hands to the top of that right thigh and then prop your body up. Facing the front of that left hip is stretching forward. And you're trying to bring the shoulders above the hips. Hands on the thigh to support you, but if you have it in you, reaching those arms up and hold, breathe. Really engaging in your core. Reaching up with the fingertips. Reaching back with that left heel, fight for it, breathe. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lean back just a little to open up the chest and the shoulders. Inhale, come back to center and bring the hands down to your thigh if you had them up. Exhale, you can lower down onto your left knee and bring your hands forward. Breathe in, breathe out, ground your hands, lift the left knee off the ground, <clears throat> and stretch that right foot back. Hold the plank for just a moment. Exhale, when you're ready, lower the knees, then the chest, and then slide the toes out as you lower the hips. Tops of the feet on the floor. Press your elbows into your body, keep breathing, waiting for an inhalation breath and lifting up. Exhale, lower down, and lifting up. Exhale, lower down. One more up. Breathe out, come onto your knees, push your hips back, and come back into a puppy stretch. Stretching the hips all the way down to the heels. They might not be there, you might have your butt up here and you're just stretching over here, that's a-okay. And when you're ready, come back to the tabletop position. And this time we're going to bring the left foot between the hands a little closer to the left. Okay? And take your time now, just ensuring that the left knee is above the heel. Stretch the right knee back a little. And when you're ready, curl the right toes in and lift that right knee off the ground. Find your balance here. Engage your core. Reach out through the top of your head. Slowly, if you can, if not, you're gonna stay here because that's intense and a lot for you, okay? If you can, bring your hands onto your left thigh. Inhale, prop up. Exhale, really reach back with that right heel. Keep that right hip facing forward, bending into that left. You, your job is to always stay with the breath. I'm just guiding you through a way to move. Your biggest task is are you breathing in and out through the nose? If you can, if you have the balance, lift those arms up, reaching through the fingers. Breathing through the nose, in, out. One more in reach, 
out, lean back to open the shoulders and chest. Inhale, come back to center and arms down. Exhale, lower on to the right knee and bring the hands forward. Breathe in, lift the right knee again off the floor and reach that left foot back. Hold the plank. Breathe, so make sure the shoulders and the butt are on the same level. Breathe in, push into the palms. Exhale, lower the knees, lower the chest, and then slide the toes as you lower the hips, tops of the feet down. Breathe in, lift your head and chest up. Keep the elbows close to the body. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale down. One more up. And stretch your hips all the way back to the heels of the feet. Come back into puppy stretch. Breathing only through the nose. That's your biggest task for this morning. Honoring this time that you've given yourself to be with yourself, to ground, nurture. Walk your hands slowly in towards you, supporting you to come out of the puppy stretch. So we're going to be sitting on our heels, if that's accessible to you. Curl the toes in, we're going to pop off those knees, kind of into a low squat. So I can't see any of you. I don't know where you're at in your practice. This might be your low squat. That's okay, right? So if you're here, you're just using what you can to be in this low squat. If you're down here, you're still engaged and holding yourself up. Take a breath in, breathe out, push into your feet. And now, and even if you're here, you're straightening your legs and folding the body down. Breathe in, push into your feet, tip the tailbone down and stack the spine up as you come up. And exhale, tip your head down, roll the shoulders down, reverse engineer what you just did. You're going to roll all the way down. Bend the knees, breathe in, roll up. Pushing into the feet, stacking up. And exhale, roll down. Up. And down. And roll up. Good, stay here. Breathe. allow yourself to feel your feet grounded into the floor look down bring your feet together and check that the inner edges of your feet are parallel to one another and from that strong foundation feel yourself as you stretch down into the floor how the body lifts up and holds you up. Stretch the fingers down the sides of the body. Chin is slightly tucked in just so that the back of the neck is open, aligned with the rest of the spine. Inhale, turn your palms open, so away from the body. Exhale, reach away with the fingertips. Inhale, reach those arms up into a big circle. And exhale, bring that big space back into your heart. Three more like this. Inhale. 
reaching out with the fingers, exhale, bring that spaciousness into your being, ground it, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale. Stay here for a moment with the hands to the heart. Palms pushing into each other. Bring your hands to your waist and take a point on the ground that's about like five to eight feet in front of you that's still. And we're gonna slowly ground deeply into that right foot and making that left foot super light. And we're gonna bring the base of the left foot either under the right knee, trying to open the left knee to the side, or if you have access to it, you can bring your left heel all the way inside your inner right thigh. From here, once you feel steady, bring your hands to the heart, keep the tailbone pointing down, right foot stretching down and left knee opening to the side. You can stay here in your tree pose. If you have access, you can allow your hands to reach up. Palms can be together or apart. Find your expression. Breathing. This is a great pose to tell what's happening in the mind. When you're ready, if you've reached your arms, you can bring them to your heart, slowly releasing out of this pose. Once you have both feet on the ground, you can shake things out a little. And now we're gonna focus on that left foot. I like to bring the hands to the waist. Some people like to bring them to the heart right away. It's not, a, you could do what you feels good for you. So I'm picking a point that's about five to eight feet in front of you and staring gluing that left foot onto the floor and making the right foot super light and then picking it up. The heel goes either under the left knee or all the way in, but not on the knee joint. Find your, find your, your pose. Really pressing with the full base of that left foot into the ground having a really strong foundation, stretching that right knee open, opening in the right hip area, pointing the tailbone down. And if you have it in you, allowing the branches of your tree to grow. Are you breathing in and out through the nose? Can you be here, present with this gift that you have, a body that is hopefully able to go through this session? When you're ready, you can bring those hands to your heart and slowly releasing out of this pose. Once two feet are touching the ground, you can shake things out a little. So it is morning for me here. I have moved a little bit around this morning in the sense of had things to do around the house. I don't know where you're chiming in from the world, but wherever you are, I, when I wake up in the morning, something really good to do to the body is also to wake up our lymphatics. So shaking is really good for that. I like to just lift my heels and let them hit the floor. So we're gonna do a minute of just 
shaking or jumping if it's easier for you and whenever you're ready please start close your eyes and allow it to be really meditative for you just let your shoulders be loose as well and your arms we're like waking up our lymphatic so there's under our arms around our neck in our groin this is all over the body so just giving a good shake and if you feel like releasing sounds oh, oh, please do that you're in the comfort of your own home sound is a way to heal and let go somatically of things that are stuck in the body so allow the intelligence of your body to come through by just we're giving it space <sighs> 30 more seconds let your shoulders be loose let your arms be loose just let it all jiggle slowly slowing down and just open your feet shoulder width apart and just let your arms sway from side to side like an empty shirt sleeve so really let them kind of flop onto the sides of your body keeping your feet anchored but being loosey-goosey in the knees and twisting a little with every side even turning your head if you can breathing through the nose we're also very different some of us have tighter sides than the others and all sorts of things so it's about spending time with yourself to get to know where am I strong? What are my weaknesses in my body? What are the parts of my body I need to nurture? And what are the parts of my body I need to rest? This is what spending some time with yourself, moving helps you get to. Slowly coming out of this, slowing it down, and bringing your feet now hip width apart and just coming to a complete still stop for a moment. Notice your breath in and out through the nose. your chest be open, your shoulders broad. Good. Slowly open your feet about um, the length of one of your legs inside. So if I would take one of your legs and stick it in, it should fit in there. You know, when I, uh, something I notice uh, some in classes is our ability to listen. So I really bring you forward today to also become excellent listeners and apply what you're hearing onto you if that's possible. Pointing the right toes to the right but keeping your hips slightly facing forward and bending in that right knee. The knee will tend to move in. I want you to make sure you stretch it back. A good way to check is if you look, you should only be able to see your big toe. If you see your other toes, you need to bend your knee a little more. If you don't see your big toe, it means you need to shift your knee back a little. So once you have that, check your back foot that you're pushing into the baby toe heel edge. And now you can open up your arms. Try not to hike up those shoulders, rest them down. 
on the floor, it's the right. Breathe. Breathe. Relax the left hand down and turn the right palm to face the ceiling. When you take an inhalation breath, reach the right arm up and keep looking at it. And then when you breathe out, reach the right arm over to the left as much as you can. Keep bending the right knee though. Breathe. Sliding the left hand down the left leg. When you're ready, inhale, come back up. And exhale, release your arms, release the leg. Turn the right foot back in. And now we're gonna turn the left foot out. Same thing. Bend the knee. We're gonna take time to check. I can't see my toes, so I need to stretch my left knee back and now I need to stretch it more because I still see my toes. So take the time to check this. I should only be able to see that big toe. And then check now on the right leg. Make sure you're pushing down with the baby toe heel edge. This is my weaker side, so I tend to have to focus here more. When you're ready, you open those arms up and look past the left. Shoulders are relaxing down. Let the light right arm come down and turn the left palm to face up. Inhale, reach the left arm up, keep your gaze at it. And exhale, reach over to the right, sliding the right hand down the leg. Breathe. Keep bending in that left knee. When you're ready, inhale, come back up. And exhale, release your arms, your leg, turn the left foot in. Now, keep breathing. Heels in, toes in, heels in, toes in, all the way to center. Inhale, both arms up, reach, exhale, lean over to the left. Heel, come back up, exhale, lean over to the right, and up. One more time to the left. You can have your hands together or apart. And up. And last one to the right. And up. All the way down with your arms. I'm gonna slowly come back down to the floor. I'm just gonna bring you a little closer. Find your way back down to the mat. I'm gonna need this spoon, so I'm just gonna bring it here. Stretch both legs in front of you. So if this is really hard for you, sitting on something that will elevate your hips actually makes it a little bit easier. So find what feels good for you. Okay, cross the right foot over the left and then slide the right foot as close to you as you can and hug it with the opposite hand, hand, elbow, whatever you can grab. Make sure this, uh, this right butt cheek didn't lift off the ground, you want to keep contact both sitting bones should be on the floor so if you have to keep your foot forward a little bit please respect where you are at hugging that right leg with the opposite arm and bringing the right hand behind your body right along the body right along the spine rounding the right shoulder back breathe in lift up in your heart center breathe out turn and look over the right shoulder Breathe, lift up, breathe out, twist. One more, inhale, 
and exhale. Breathe in, come back to your center. Breathe out, switch. Stretch out the right, cross over the left. And bring that left foot in as close to you as you can, hugging it with the opposite arm. Left hand behind the body, just along the spine, rounding the left shoulder back. Breathe in, lift your heart center up. Breathe out, turn your head over to the right. Breathe in, feeling tall in the spine. Breathe out, twisting back. One more in. And out, twist. And inhale, come back to center. Stretch out your legs. Good idea to lay down now. We're gonna do our final kind of body scan meditation. You can sit if that is what you want, or you can lie down if you wanna just rest and allow the benefits of your practice to just seep in and be really supportive. So figure out what you want to do. And rest here for a moment. No need to control your breath any longer. You can let that go. 